As you know, Disney has been actually uh, starting to listen to fans, which is actually a good thing. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> well, yeah, they're taking a much different approach to what most people think. Uh, so, I even think they think the same thing should happen with Marvel. No, they're not listening to fans. Uh, to at all. Uh, I think they should. Uh, regarding some other... Th some small things. Uh, one specifically comes to mind. Captain Marvel. Yeah. Kevin needs to own up. Um, yeah, I think he does. So, yeah. And apparently, I was taking, I took a look. My contract doesn't end until 20, 29, says, damn, I guess I gotta make that superhero thing after all, but in that, but since I have some time, definite, it's just, eh. <laughs> yeah, it's not a Marvel character, but I would love to get into the, uh, do as a Marvel thing, it's just, definite, I think it would be a great thing, all they have to do is go like, Ooh, <laughs> if it's good enough. If not, oh well. Uh, yeah, if man, nah, I could just like release it on here. Yeah, no war, no last. And if people don't like it, who cares? Because <laughs> uh, it's a different approach to everything. It's just uh, definite. Because. Uh, it will be, I won't tell you what it's about, but I will say for one thing, uh, Disney does need, uh, not Disney, uh, Marvel needs to start thinking, and right away, not everything that Marvel does is woke. Nope. Nor Disney. Nope. So, uh, the think, the, th uh, the thing is, uh, people who claim it's woke and forcing an agenda, Actually, you're wrong. Uh, yeah. Uh, you just don't get both. Nah, nah. I, you've become the villain of the story, so. I think that's very simply put. People who claim it's something is woke is not. Ah, uh, no. Because superheroes are have always been left-wing. Well... Some people are on the alt right. It's just it. Sorry to say that. So, anyway. <laughs>